hello guys welcome to my channel swiftlearn this tutorial i will show you how to create model pop up and how to display model pop up in your website uh, using bb.net if you don't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos start visual studio go to the file menu click on new project uh, new website okay visual basic sp.net and uh, website okay now select the location where you wanna create this uh, uh, website i just select bb.net project tutorial folder and uh, name the project i just uh, named the project is uh, model pop-up project okay and i click on ok the project is created and remove this uh, default uh, content and design this uh, form i'm going to design this form with a uh, model pop up and uh, a title and the button control okay in that case um, uh, first of all i'm gonna add a title of this page uh title is a model pop up tutorial in sp.net bb okay now design this title align center and add a style a style change the font size font size is x large and for color color is green and change the back color as well uh, back color background uh, color background color is uh, green no black because of the font color is green okay now title is created now i'm gonna add a deep control to add uh, and button control where uh, after clicking the button control you can display the model pop-up in that case i will design model pop-up and button control and i will uh, add a control in the uh, add a grid view data uh, and load the data in the data grid view uh, to display the model pop-up okay now this is my button control and the text is show data in model pop-up after clicking this button uh, you can display the model pop-up with the data in the grid view okay now uh, i'm gonna add a break and now i'm gonna designing this the model pop-up so asp panel id equal to model pen i just define this id is model pen run it equal to server okay this is the panel in this panel i will uh, design the complete model pop-up this div will be used as a header of the model pop-up div style background color background color is gray this is the header of the model pop-up and the color white and uh, padding 2 pixel ok now it's done and the text of this uh, header of the model pop-up is details this div will be used as body of the model pop-up so uh, div style equal to overflow scroll if you use the big data in this uh, in the model pop-up you should use the overflow scroll so that it will scroll the um, uh, background color white okay and now i'm gonna add another div this div will be used as uh, footer of the model pop-up the same uh, of the uh, header style okay, just copy paste to reducing time you can design the model power up as your uh, choice 
okay now i'm gonna adding button control so that uh, and this button control will be used as to close the model pop-up to hide the model pop-up the button 2 i just change the id is bt and close this button will be used to close the model pop-up okay now model pop-up is done but it's not look like a model pop-up in that case research the model pop-up uh, to research the model pop-up at a style um, style wide equal wide 600 pixel and uh, height 350 pixel okay let's see yes now it's look like model for but in the details uh, resize the details so that it's a uh, execute double plus scroll yes now it's look like perfect model pop up add a data add a grid view to load data um, uh, to display model pop up perfectly yes now um, uh, i've added a um, grid view align center of the header and uh, font size medium yes okay now back color of the button close and between close is red and align align of the deep footer div is center yes perfect now go to the button click event show data model button click event in this uh, button i uh, i will uh, write code to display data from SQL Server database to your website model pop-up okay this is my table user info tab and these are the records okay now dim con as an I'm gonna connecting with the SQL Server database my database is my test DB and table name is user info tab dim con as SQL connection equal to new SQL connection Uh, you should import system data to the SQL client. Yes, it's imported. Now uh, get the connection string. Right click your uh, data in the server explorer. Go to the property and just copy the connection string. Double click and copy and paste it in the SQL connection. Yes, now it's connected with the SQL Server database. Now command, write command dim cms SQL command equal to new sql command my sql command is i am just uh, displaying the data in the data grid view in the grid view so uh, select star from user info underscore tab okay call the connection string con okay now dim das sql data adapter equal to new sql data adapter cm same is my sql command name dt as data table dt as new data table finally load the data adapter in data table you should import uh, system dot data yes it's imported now da dot fill dt okay finally grid view one dot data source equal to dt it be on the data mind okay it's done uh, now view in uh, browser right click and view in browser yes it's displaying show data now it's displaying as a body of the form and the display data is also displaying perfectly this uh, to display as model pop-up 
add ajax control toolkit the dls reference in toolbox okay uh, i have uh, ajax uh, ajax control toolkit the dls you can download it from the internet or i will provide the google drive add tab okay in the toolbox add a tab in the toolbox ajax toolkit ajax toolkit okay now right click on the tab and choose item okay go to the browse desktop in the desktop i already keep the um, ajax toolkit yes open just click on ajax toolkit dot dll open now click on ok click on ok it's added uh, it takes some time this is ajax toolkit now uh, so short item alphabetically yes model for of extender you should add model forward extender to display it as uh, model pop-up now i'm gonna add model pop-up extender okay now the this is the panel design now i'm gonna add model pop-up extender model pop-up extender id equal to model pop-up extender one run it equal to server okay now i'll call model pop-up this is the uh, model the okay, model for of extender and the below is model pop of design okay now this is the model pop of extender now i am going to add a label control yes this level will be used as target controller of the model pop off yes more text is blank now target control id equal to level one okay this is target control id level one now model for a standard is not displaying in the uh, uh, sp.net web form and puff of control id uh, puff of control id is uh, model fan what i designed sp panel id model fan just copy model fan and paste is in puff of control id see that target control id and the puff of control id target control id is level one and puff of control id is model fan okay now go to the b browser uh control ID model fan require a script manager Oh, sorry, must have the total control ID. Oh, yes. You should add toolkit script manager. Uh, if you want to use any control of the Ajax control Ajax toolkit, uh, you must use uh, toolkit script manager. Yes. Now I have added the toolkit script manager. It's okay. Now. Uh, you can see it in the model for extender my model for extender id is model for extender so model for extender one dot show okay now save and uh, go to the browser yes yes now it's displaying model for extender and it's looking nice now i'm gonna design this model for extender and i uh, will make it movable First of all, uh, I have added a model for uh, BTN close to hide model for of so go to the click event of this button and uh, model for extender one dot hide. Yes. Now add uh, ID hmm, of the div so the uh, to make it movable. ID is header div. Okay. Uh, the header uh, div is ID is header div and in the model for extender just add fuff of drag handler id to make the model fuff of movable fuff of drag handle control id just copy the header div and uh, paste it in the fuff of drag handle control id okay now it's done 
go to the web form reload this page and uh, show the model pop up yes now see that it's now movable but uh, still it's not looking nice like a model pop up to make it uh, look creative looking nice add a style in the header content of this page uh, okay this is the header content and now i'm gonna add a style add a class Mm, uh, to display this uh, um, uh, today uh, to display the model pop of lucrative okay uh, model background add a class to make background transparent point six opacity okay mo model background background color black and opacity is six it's uh, that means it's transparent black opacity Point six. Okay, now call this model pop up background in the model pop up extender background CSS class equal to paste it model background. Now reload this page. Yes, now it's looking find as model pop of extender okay but uh, the grid direct grid view is in the left side it's not looking nice so to make the data grid view in center change the style fading 15 pixel and align center okay now reload this page and show data in model pop up yes it's looking nice perfect okay in the border style change the border style border 3 pixel solid style solid and the border color is gray okay now see reload this page and yes now it's looking a border it's looking nice now yes